Oh, okay. November 11th, 2023, our wedding day. Lana, during my freshman year in high school, my class was asked to define what love is. It went something like this. Love is a feeling for someone that is beyond understanding and beyond the feeling that you have for anyone else. Love is a binding force that keeps people together forever. These words all took on a different significance and meaning for me when I fell in love with you. Early on in high school, that was Seth's high school crush. And basically that's the only girl he's ever allowed to fully be in his heart. Yeah. He, nobody else had a chance. She stole his heart, that's for sure. To the epic love of my life on our wedding day, I love you just as much now and more as I did that nerdy 17-year-old boy with mutton chops in 2011. You're still just as nerdy, but much more mansome, even with your new silver. They are the perfect example of true love's circle. They dated at school and they had to separate because of responsibilities and education. They found each other again and shown that it was true and it was meant to be. This life has thrown us many curveballs and you've been so steady in keeping us thriving. You're the macaroni to my cheese, the bread to my butter, my better half, and the other half of my soul. You're my rock, my peace, my lighthouse in a storm. I am so incredibly thankful and count myself lucky to call you my husband. You are the best teacher I have ever had because you have taught me more about myself and made me into a better man. Although my last name is something I value and want you to have, it isn't the thing I want you to have most. If I could give you only one thing, it's to see yourself through my eyes. Because only then would you understand just how special you are and how much you mean to me. So I will spend the rest of my life showing you just how Twitter painted I am. Beautiful. You trying to get the viewer and all over your back in here? <laughs> I'm sweating. Oh, so sweating so bad. That's beautiful. Sorry, my hands are cold. It's okay. What a beautiful. I try. <laughs> Unconditional love is why we are here. It's called agape love. This love is greater than one and I think that surpasses all of our knowledge that of people who are sitting here this very day. This is a love that is unconditional that comes from God and then thus that flows down to you too. You truly are my other half and my soulmate, and I thank God as often as I can remember for bringing us together. You are the best part of my day every day, and I count my blessings that I get to wake up and go to sleep next to you. The understanding you and I have is beyond what I have ever experienced, and something not everyone gets to know. You and I are tethered at the heart, it's the reason you and I can speak to each other without saying a word. I see you and you see me. The truth is love. You will have days in your marriage where you'll experience many types of love. Maybe love for one to take a hike. 
Maybe it's a love where you want to just not say goodbye in the morning when you go to work. That's that unconditional feeling that we all strive for. Had someone told me over five years ago that I'd be standing right here, I would have laughed and told them that they were delusional. What I didn't want to admit back then was that there was a piece of me that has always belonged to you. When you look at me, I get lost in your eyes and the whole world falls into the background. Our love story is and always will be a living proof that God's plans are greater than our own. I promise to always be by your side through thick and thin, better or worse. I promise to weather every storm with you with unwavering certainty that will make it out the other side stronger and more unshakable than before. I love you, and I love you for all that you are, all that you've been, and all that you are yet to be. My vow to you is threefold. I promise to do my best to show you what I see when I look at you. I promise to prove to you that my love for you really is deeper than the holler. And finally, I promise that when it comes to you, no one will ever out effort me. May you never steal, lie, or cheat. But if you must steal, steal away my sorrow. If you must lie, lie with me all the nights of my life. And if you must cheat, then please cheat death, because I couldn't hold a day without you. Today I promise myself to you, and I promise to always recognize you until the last star burns out. Well, it is with my great pleasure I get to announce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Seth and Alana Truey. You may kiss the bride. Seth, freshman year at SIU Carbondale, we lived on the same floor at Bailey Hall as we were both in engineering. One day by total chance we were walking back from math class and he asked me if I understood what was taught that day and I said something along the lines of, nope, sure didn't. <laughs> Little did I know this would spark a friendship that I could not have predicted. Alana has been there for my special life events so many times over the years. She has always been there for me. She is the definition of what a true selfless caring friend is, and I have never had that before her. Seth is someone I really look up to, one of my biggest cheerleaders, someone who's always in my corner, and one of my best friends. I really believe that everyone to Everyone needs a Seth in their life. Everyone needs a big brother like Seth. She's happier than I've ever seen her with anybody, and that's really hard to say, but I'm so happy for you, and I'm, this isn't much, but I love you. And I'm so proud of the person that you've become, the woman that you've become. I'm extremely blessed that I've gotten to watch these two grow together. You've been each other's stable rock and best cheerleaders through both the good and the bad. And I can't wait to see what's still to come in the future. I love their relationship and how their personalities complement each other. I love you both endlessly and cannot wait to see what the future has for you guys. When I stand in front of him when my time on earth is done, I can only hope that he gives me the chance to relive the highlight reel of my life. Because the only thing I can think of that's better than living a life, a full life with you, is getting to experience it twice. It has been an honor to get to watch their relationship grow and to get to see that they are truly destined to be husband and wife. I love both of you with all my heart and I wish you a lifetime of love and blessings. 
she's just amazing. You guys are both amazing together, and I just couldn't imagine a better couple. So I love you guys. Love you guys. Yeah, I love you. And we wish you the best, and we can't wait to come hang out yes. with you all again. As long as I am able, I will always be here to help you and love you. And I can't wait for you to have babies because I want to be a grandma! We can't wait to see where you go in your future because we know it's going to be a beautiful day every day just like today was.